pushed out. <coughs> what are you doing? What party? What are you talking about? Are you f kidding me? Are you f kidding me? Where? Is it, a is it fun? Hi, fun. Um, straight to the back, past the bathrooms on the left. Hey, Mallory. Oh, hey, Sid. What's up? You gonna go to Becca's thing tonight? Um, yeah, you know, I was gonna go and say goodbye. Oh, are you going? Yeah, I think so. Thinking about it. Yeah. So you still talk to London? Yeah, you know, here and there. Why? Oh, uh, you know, I was just, I was a little surprised to hear she was moving. So did she get a place out there? Is she staying with somebody? Or she didn't tell you? Where she was staying? Come on, Mel. I mean, I, she says something about we went in with her boyfriend or something, but I mean, that's pretty much all I know. Can I get you a drink? Yeah, can I have a vodka? Large one. Thank you, please. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, one second here. Here you go. Thanks. Uh, hey, look, I didn't, I didn't mean to be rude. It's okay. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, he said, I gotta go cash out. So yeah. See you tonight. Yep. Hey, listen, listen. I'm gonna get a little bit of sniff. So if you want some, just let me know. Oh, really? Yeah. How much is it? Oh, no, don't worry about it. Just come find me. But obviously, you don't tell London. You know she hates that shit. Yeah, like I'm gonna say something. <laughs> All right, man. See you later. Yeah, see ya. So what do you want to do with this? Oh look, we don't want to go in the bathroom. It's f***ing horrendous and that. I drove. You want to use my car? Your car? Why not? So how is this shit? It's pretty good? Can't say I've sampled any of this but considering the source, I imagine it to be pretty clean here. Yeah. Is this like a uh, full-time gig for you? Full-time job? No, oh, mate, I'm a banker. Foreign exchange dealer, you know, currency trader. Currency trader? 
Euros, pounds, arbitrage, yeah. Okay, so you're not a dealer. <clears throat> Mate, I ain't a f dealer. Strictly a buyer. Thumbs up, Tan, you're on my way. It's just a favor. Gotcha. Well, whatever it is, I really appreciate it, man. <laughs> Here we go. So, currency trader, huh? How's the money in that? Good? Not if you get stuck on this shit. No. Hey, so listen, man, I don't know what you're doing after this. I don't know if you got plans or anything, but a friend of mine's having a party like two blocks from here if you're interested. Nah, thanks, mate, but how about a shit day, believe me? All right, I just figured, you know, you came down this whole thing. Uh, probably be pretty good. What kind of party is it exactly? Actually, it's a, uh, it's a going away party for, uh, for this girl from my ex-chick. But it'll be good, you know, free booze, free food, hot chicks. I really shouldn't. Thanks anyway, I appreciate the offer. That's it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Thank you. Go? Why are you gonna go? Don't go. You just got here. No. Just all the way down here. Why would you leave? Because I've had a horrendous day. And I'm decided not to go because I don't want to meet a lot full of strangers and you enjoy yourself. Alright, so come in for five minutes. Get a drink. Nah, man, no, you go. Bateman, what are you guys better to do than this? Girls, free booze, do listen, a line. Listen, I've just come out of the most psychotic therapy session I've had in years. I'm gonna smack some for a taxi. I really don't know if I'm ready for this shit. All right, so just come in for five minutes. You don't like it, you can leave. One drink, bro. Mallory will be here. One drink, one Hey, Maya. Hey, Sid. How you doing? Good. It's been a while. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good, Bateman. This is Maya. Sorry. Maya. Nice hey. to meet you, Maya. Nice to meet you. Hey, man, what you been up to? Ah, uh, ah, uh, in hell, man. I on the SATs. I gotta retake them. That's it, you know. Right. Just wanna <laughs> kill myself. Well, you know, if you want to get out of SAT mode, I picked up a lot of, you know, so. Are you dealing now? Yes, I'm dealing. No, I'm not dealing. I just, you know. Oh. I got a lot more than I need, so if you're. All right, man. Thanks. Just come find me, yeah. Uh, I might. Does anybody? Take you up on that. Too, London. I 
You can say it. I'm not going to tell anybody. Don't. Don't what? What am I doing? This. What, what am I doing wrong? This. Whatever this is. This need. This obsession to put a verbal label on everything. It's not about words. Wait, no, it is about words. Because if we didn't have words, we'd be uh, living in caves and still Look, talking London, with our stop, hands. Stop. Stop. Please. We haven't even come close to a fight. If we can avoid that first fight, by theory, we'll never fight. Okay? Please. It's been so perfect till now. Don't do this. It's been perfect for you. For you. London. Coming. Right, right, guys. Someone's at the door. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> wow, you look beautiful. Oh. You look hot, nice hat, nice boots. Thanks. Hey. Rebecca. Raymond, where the sits? Right. Nobody's here yet, guys. So just come on in and make yourself at home. Okay. So you're not going to believe he's just f***ing up. Right party, mate. Oh, it'll be better. It'll be better. Trust me, I promise you. Okay, I've got to go. Psst. Please. Why it's not invited? He's so not invited. He's touching my Buddha's head. Hey, London, it's me. Give me a call as soon as you get this, okay? Okay, bye. Hey, Sid, do us a favor, yeah? Don't touch the Buddha. Okay? Where did you get your hat? So cute on you. Did they just go upstairs? Mm-hmm. Right, nice. Nice of them to ask. So wait, I'm confused. You say you do believe in God or you don't? Come on, up with the appropriate word for it, actually. <clears throat> it's more of an epiphany, if anything. Epiphany? What was your epiphany? Well, for me, an epiphany is when you really see the universe in all its splendor and beauty, and you suddenly understand everything. But what do you mean by everything? What does that mean? <laughs> everything! Everything! You can Imagine! Everything! What? You don't know what everything means? Well, yes, I know what everything means. I just don't know what you mean by everything. It means everything, doesn't it? You know, everything. So what's your problem? Well, I think for someone who's seen the infinite, you're a little f***ing vague. You'd think with someone who's had a godlike revelation, you'd be a little more specific. It's not about specifics. It's like an energy that hits you between the f***ing eyes and you're enlightened. And you see everything. No, you don't see everything. You see nothing. But you understand everything. You know what got me the most? is that I understood time horizons. What's a time horizon? It's like this. I understood where I stood in relation to where the Romans and the Jews were 2,000 years ago and why I was here now. But I felt this enormous compassion, you know, for the struggle of the human race and what it had to go through for us. You know, for life as we know it, to come to this point. I mean, it's truly remarkable, but at the same time, it's utterly disturbing. I mean, we're the same people that were there in Roman times. Throwing boiling oil on each other and crucifying Christians for f**k's sake. Not that that's entirely a bad thing. Hey, Sid, are you in there? It's Maya. Oh, f**k. me. F**k. Ah, f**k. You're second. done, look. F**k. You're a clump. F**k. You're done. Shit. Look at that. 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 Sid, it's the karma. I got it. have to give up blasphemy. Hey, oh, I can totally see this. Oh, what are you going to do? Eat food off the floor? Don't sniff that. Yeah, Carl. Do me a fing. God, is this it? Yes. Are you kidding? No, it's my fault. Just snort it off the floor. No, you don't want to do that. I shouldn't have put it by the fing.
What's that? As I said, all is not lost. Baby, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God. Hey. Rock. Look at this. Do you know this painting? No. It's Van Gogh, sweet filled with cross. Oh. Most significant painting the man's ever painted. Oh, well then. It's true. That'll do for starters, won't it? Look, this is the last painting the man did before he killed himself. This is suicide note. Look, he even put his left ear in the clouds. There is his mutilated left ear. You see that? I mean, not everyone sees it, of course, but there it is. He mutilated his left ear and he put it in the painting. What does that mean? Hey, so Maya, I'm curious. You're a smart chick. Do you believe in God? You guys have been doing way too many drugs. <laughs> Answer the question, yes or no? Um, God, yeah, that's a really long conversation. But I will tell you something I read the other day that really freaked me out. Um, I don't remember where it was. It was like Russia or Germany or one of these places. But these scientists, they took this female pregnant rabbit and they hooked it up to like a heart monitor and an EEG which sensors your brain waves. And like the second after she gives birth, they take these babies and they jump in a van and they start shooting them one by one in the back of the head with like a 22 rifle from like one mile away, bam, five miles away, bam, 20 miles away. Don't tell away. me people are running around in the woods killing little bunny rabbits. What's so interesting is that every time that they would shoot one of these poor babies in the back of the head, the mother's heartbeat and brainwaves would go crazy. So I'm just saying there's, you know, shit like that. And then... Right, like the mother knew the babies were getting shot. Yes, and... every time, exactly. I mean, and then there's all that stuff, you know, like those weird identical twins, right? One of the brothers just walking down the street gets stabbed by some serial killer. Um, so he gets stabbed, right? And then 900 miles away, at the exact same time, his twin brother falls down. Uh, it's weird, it's very weird, yes. We do you want to like, finish what I'm saying? Finish, please, care? please, finish. Okay, he falls down. Gets hospitalized due to heart palpitations at the exact same time as brother was stabbed. Why are you shaking your head? You sound like London. What? A coincidence. How is it a coincidence? You know what, Maya? I've had this conversation before. I'm not having it here. Well, then let's not. Then don't ask me about God, okay, Sid? Hey, is London here yet? Um, no, I don't think so. Did you meet a boyfriend? Yeah, a couple of times. He's nice. He's like an attractive guy. He's good looking. You're asking me if he's an attractive guy? I guess. You guess? What do you mean you guess? I mean, I guess. All right, so I'm curious. Do you think he's more or less attractive than me? I said I don't know. <laughs> well, you do know. You just aren't telling me. I don't know, Sid. You guys just, you know, you have totally different looks. All right, yes, we have very different looks, but who do you like more, his or mine? This is stupid, Sid. Okay, fine. Um, I guess on some level I find him attractive. That doesn't mean that I find him any more or less attractive than I find you. Okay? Baby, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, just because we're going out doesn't mean I'm gonna, you know, suddenly not be attracted to the opposite sex. He's a friend who happens to be attractive. It was one lunch. Why are you freaking out? I'm not. You don't see me going to lunch with a bunch of attractive people. Okay. First of all, it was one guy, not a bunch. And you know, it's really not my problem that you don't have female friends, is it? Because no one's stopping you from having female friends. I love this, by the way. So for the sake of conversation... Sid. For the sake of conversation, Please. let's just pretend Can we just you and I don't know it? each other. For listen, just sake. listen to me. Let's Please. just pretend for five minutes on and you don't know me, I don't know you, we're not dating. But this is... Me and what's his name are in the room. To I do room. know you, you Sid. I do I know, know you. You can't... Remove that from the equation. Who do you, you pick? Gun to equation. your head. Who do you pick? I would pick you. I would pick you in any equation. Are you alright in there? Everything is fine, thank you. 
said literally, this has got to be one of the most insane conversations I've ever had with you. I don't want to f him. I don't. F him. It was one lunch. Whoever said it anything was one about f lunch. Him. I didn't say f him. I said attracted but to him. But that's obviously what you meant. No, it's not. Just keep, please f keep your I meant up, attracted. Please. You said f Just who said shut the fuck up. What do you want? I want you to answer the f***ing question. Sid, you're, you're a cute guy. You are, you really, really are. But, I don't know, he has this angular, sexy, diesel hat thing going on. But you know what, I don't even know him. So maybe he's a You know what? F*** you, Maya. If you were my friend, you would've lied. Sid, 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 you are at her going away party. If you don't calm down, you're going to drive me and you and everyone else and her. It's a party crazy. Just gone. say goodbye. She's gone. Line, anyone? Uh, no. No, thank you. But do you have a cigarette? I'm sorry. Screw me. You know what, Yeah, you know what? I'll try to remember that. Maya, I'm serious. Please. Hey, please tell me you're not doing coke in my parents' bathroom. What? I saw you go upstairs. Where did you go? To the bathroom. I swear to God, you're not doing coke in my parents' house. Oh my god, I swear to god, I'm, I'm not doing coke in your parents' house. Okay, I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> well, have a good time. Oh, I'm sorry. How long were you two together? Who, me in London? Two and a half years. You when? Six months and a few days ago. You're counting, Sid. Not a good sign, mate. Why? Why do you say that? Okay. I mean, what's the girl's name? Maya. Maya. One of those? Maya. There's some terrible things to her. She's like an ex-wife Barbie doll. Hmm. How old is she? I don't know, like 16, 17? 17? Oh, I really want to f*** her. You'd f*** a 17-year-old? Well, you wouldn't. Mate, if it's not against the law, then what's the problem? You could f*** a 15-year-old in France. Does that make them all peaceful? <laughs> right situation, right country, you up one too, believe you. Right, will. right. International waters, deserted island, all types of shit can happen. But if any of my female friends knew I fucked a 17 year old, they'd lose it. What's the matter with you? If we tell women a tenth of the horrible things we think and do, do you think we'd ever get laid? Someone else this girl to on, mate. You asked to cheat the on you? Yes, mate, but I was on a horrible amount of X at the time. Did so. she on you? Actually, no, she, uh, in my mouth. Oh, I... <clears throat> she in your mouth? It was not a pleasant experience, believe me. Oh. How the f*** does that happen? What is the exact conversation that leads to a girl having you in your mouth? It's a f***ing mistress. You paid a chick? Many times. <laughs> Many times. Listen, it's an expensive hobby, both mentally and financially. So what's the deal? How does it work? Look, I don't know if I'm f***ing that, you know? Come on, explain it. I don't care. No one cares. You get your shit wet, and you to f***ing Savile Row suit. It's f***ing 5Gs. I've kept it out of the rain all day. Look at the state of it. Look, I don't want to go there. All I said is a twist of Come on, man, I don't care. I'm not going to tell anybody. Why the f*** do you want to know? I just want to know. How does it work? You just go over there? Look at you, you f***ing dirtbag. You brought it you up. You want to f***ing go there? <laughs> you f***ing 
fucking go there. Leave my fucking demons to myself, mate. Where is it? Try back, you. Explain it. How does it work? You just walk over. Look, you phone from downstairs, and magically they let you in through these enormous iron gates. You know, you get all excited. You know, you get all ramped up. You can't wait to get in there. You know, the whole thought of it just gets amongst your veins. You're into it, you know. And then all of a sudden, you know, they give you a big fat form. It's a five-page disclaimer in in triplica. And you're like, hold on, what is this? Paperwork? I come here to get my I didn't come here to sign forms. It's fing hilarious. You don't pay them, you give them a donation. <laughs> I mean that is so American, isn't it? Come on. And then they give you a list and a little pencil, you know, like in the sushi bar, and start checking off the requirements, you know. Whipping, spanking. Ah! Shit. Whipping! When they on you. Yeah, you can have it straight in the mouth, or you can have it over a glass of coffee table. <laughs> All over it, and you're just like, ah, you dirty <laughs> Who the f asked for that <laughs> misery? I hope not you. <laughs> yeah, what about me? <laughs> anyway, you know, there's a long, I mean, the list is long, mate. But I'm telling you, the moment you come, the moment you come, you are so sober. I mean, so f sober. You're like, what have I just done? What the f have I just done? I've just paid $275 for some stranger. Some chick I don't even know to like whip me and piss on my head. So where's the upside? Why do you do it? I don't get it. Well, on a physical level, it can be rather pleasurable. Psychologically, <clears throat> this is without getting too deep here, I think it has a lot to do with pain and self-flagellation, both literally and metaphorically. I mean, I don't know whether it's the culture or what, but the English in general are very into pain and sp The English? Really? Yeah, you're always reading some story in the Sunday papers about some judge or vicar bent over some I didn't know the English were so f Mate, the English are very, I mean, very f Yeah, one sec. Sweating like a f <clears throat> Sid, come and have a look at the view. Yeah, it's Mal. It's the girl from the bar. Look, yeah. Come back in. Who? Mallory, the girl from the bar. Huh? She's hot. Look, you are. No, no, mate, no. I'm too. I'm white, mate. I can't be. So what? So am I. I've been drinking this piss. Look, I can't no, I can't operate when I'm like this. Who cares? I'm I'm a a did you? Right. She only took in and out. Who cares? You help yourself to that. I'm gonna leave. It's been a no, no, pleasure. No, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Please don't leave. Go get a drink. Come right back. No, mate. No, no. Damon, one drink. Come right back. Work Mountain. She's hot. Oh, she a drink of what? What do you want? Anything. A bottle. A bottle. Jack. Keep it with you. You're staying, all right? One fuck. Drink. One is drink. Fine, fine. Just don't go anywhere. The thing. Hey, huh. Haven't had a bump in like three hours. Bateman, this is my friend Mallory. Mallory, this is Bateman. Hey. You're the guy from the bar, right? Mallory, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bateman. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. You're a clumsy idiot. <laughs> sorry. Um, well, how do you guys know each other? A friend of a friend. What friend? I don't know, Mallory. What's with the 20 questions? Just asking. So, what are you leaving or something? I'm just gonna grab us a drink and then, uh, I'm coming back. Do you want one? Um, sure, I'll have another one. I'll see you in a minute. Good. I'll see you in a minute, Sid. Damn, kid. So, how do you know that guy? You got this 
well for me. He's not yeah. a dealer, he's another guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, good guy, right? Yeah. Hey, you don't know if London's here, do you? Uh, yeah, she got here like a minute ago. What'd she say? Did she know I'm here? Um, no, she didn't say anything. I believe she's leaving tomorrow, you know? It's just so f to me. Yeah, well, you know, instead of you staying in here all night, why don't you go out and talk to her? You know, I'm sure she'd love to talk to you. Yeah, I don't know. Why? Like, why wouldn't she want to talk to you? You guys in a fight or something? A fight? Mallory, she hasn't called me in two months. I wasn't invited tonight. Don't you think that's a little f odd? She wouldn't call me to tell me she's moving across the f country? Dude, she didn't call you? No. Dude, that's f I know, you didn't leave me a message. I know that girl better than anybody. Well, when's the last time you talked to her? I don't know, like two months? Really? I'm sure she was gonna give you a call. When was she gonna call me? I just checked my messages. She gonna call me from LAX? Dude, I don't know. Man. Hey, Sid, um, can I ask you something personal? What? Well, I mean, it's probably, you know, I don't know if it's true or not. That's obviously why I'm asking, and you know, since we're cool and all, I just figured, I, you know, I'm kind of concerned, but I, I anyway, I, I kind of heard that, um, what, something about London? Well, I, I heard, it's probably bullshit, but I heard you, uh, what, Mallory, spit it out, I kind of heard you tried to, um, kill yourself, what, who told you that, London? No, it wasn't London, well, who told you that, who, dude, I don't, no, it was a long time ago. I don't even remember. Yeah, well, Mallory, London's the only person that knew about that, so any way you heard it, it's pretty up. So what, it's not true? Oh, no, it's not true. Dude, I don't get it. Like, what the happened then? Well, why don't you tell me what you heard happened, and then I'll tell you what really happened. Just after this bomb, hold up. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I heard that like you guys had a fight or something and you broke out and she drove back to your place and found you unconscious next to some sleeping pills or something and you had to get your stomach pump. That's what I heard. That's okay, all. now do you wanna know what really happened? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's why I asked. You know my dog, Toker? Yeah? Yes, well, he's epileptic. Okay. So the vet, they prescribe him phenobarbital. Phen what the f is that? Phenobarbital, like, like barbiturates, they're downers for his fits. Wait a minute, your dog has epilepsy yeah. and got prescribed the Yes, let me finish, let me finish. Anyway, it was my two year anniversary with London and I knew she thought I'd forget, so. Said so you always forget, always. I feel like such a Well, you are a Open it. Open it. Okay. This is so gorgeous. How did you know I wanted this dress? I saw you drooling all over it last time we were at Valentino's. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much, baby. More. the middle of something. Alright, Who's that? It's Mallory. Oh, look at his paws. Oh. What, what is it? What's wrong? I heard a guy's voice on the phone. What? Are you crazy? That was Mallory. You swear to God? <laughs> yes, I swear to God. You don't believe me, go ahead and call her. 
Sid, are you really gonna call her? Yeah, is Mallory there? This is London's boyfriend. Who the f is this? London, what the f is this? Who was that? Okay, Why did you just lie to me? Just explain. You better f explain. What? What? Why'd you lie? You cheating on me? No. No, listen. I was really f I was out with the girls. Oh, f perfect. Oh, you are really you fucking. Yes, explain. yes. You better f explain, London. Okay. The clubs were closing. We, we decided to go back to Becca's boyfriend's loft. I, I passed out. I wake up the next morning and the guy, there's somebody lying in bed next to me. And then what? You didn't try anything? You're f up. You're in his bed. You didn't try anything. I find that very hard to believe, London. And don't f lie to me. If you f lie to me, I'm walking out the f door. Sid, he tried to kiss me, but there was nothing because I pushed him away. It well, was not a big deal. Fine, try, London. I want to know every single detail. Were you on the covers? Were you under the covers? Was his hand on your t No, sit here. Oh, he tries to kiss me and I pushed him you away. You pushed him yes. away. Yes, I walked outside, Mallory called me a cab, and I went home. If you went home, why the f are you calling him? How does he have your number? I don't know, Sid. Maybe, maybe Becca's boyfriend gave him the number. But I definitely didn't give it to him. Nothing happened. I swear to God, nothing happened. Don't you f believe me, please. Well, I, mean, I don't know what the to believe. You just swore to God that was Mallory on the phone. And it wasn't. So what the f We've dated for two years. I believed everything you've said up until this point. Now it's like, I don't know what the f It's like your words are meaningless. I just don't trust you anymore, London. I made a mistake. I made a f***ing huge mistake. I'm sorry. It was one f mistake. Why didn't you just tell me you were going to call him back? Why would you tell a guy who you don't know, whose number you don't have, you're going to call him back? What the f is that? So I took a couple of tokers for you know Barbara doll. <laughs> Wait, you took your dog's medication? Phenol Barbadol is Phenol Barbadol. It doesn't matter the fact that it was for my dog. People have been taking it recreationally for years. It doesn't matter that it was for him. <laughs> Smoke that. So wait a minute. What does it do to you? It makes you feel good. They're euphoric. You know, they're like downers. Okay. Anyway, I was pretty drunk at the time and I took like five or six of them. Five or six doggy downers? Man. Yeah, Toker's 50 pounds, he takes two. I'm a 75 or 60 is pretty good. Shit. The problem with our big is that if you're drunk, you can kind of fall into a coma if you're not careful. Oh man, you went into a coma too? What's wrong with no, you? No, I didn't go into a f***ing coma, Mallory. London came back to apologize or whatever. Sid? Sid? Oh, Sid! Oh, Sid! Oh, Sid! The fact she's out there telling people that makes me so furious. I would never do that to anyone. It's just rude. So you never pumped your stomach? No, they didn't pump shit. I went to the hospital. I took a few coherency tests. That's it. That's all. Do you see how reality gets twisted when little girls gossip? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess. What, do you not believe me? No, of course I believe you, Sid. That's why I asked. I was concerned. It just makes me so fucking livid that she's out there telling people this warped version of what happened. You know what? Just please don't go out there telling her that I told you this, all right? That's the last thing you need right now. Believe me, Melanie, the last thing I'm gonna do is mention your name. Well, honestly, if I were you, I wouldn't even bring this shit up, okay? It's her last night here. Just focus on something positive, all right? She don't wanna hear that shit. What? What's wrong? I don't know, I don't know, because I start sweating and my heart starts pounding and I feel like my head's spinning and the world is crashing around me and I get pulled down, down, further into like the darkest, meanest places of my brain and it starts suffocating and you feel like you're dying. What? What? Say something. What would you like me to say? Anything! Something! I don't care! Can't be your crutch, Sid. Oh, you are such a miserable f***ing human being. Miserable in what way? In the way that you're sitting there and just taking my f***ing money and I'm dying! Nothing you do helps me! The Prozac doesn't help, the lithium doesn't help, the Zoloft doesn't help, nothing you do helps! You're kind of a I just want to turn the pain off, you know? Just give me something that the pain can go away with, you know?
Can you do that, Dawn? I, th I think you're doing great. And when that first wave of anxiety hits, it's terrifying because you're like, maybe I'm really going crazy. Maybe I've finally done enough drugs with my head enough that I've just detached from reality, you know? You know, you start having these horrible revelations. Like what? Like I started freaking out about death, you know? I became obsessed with it. I just couldn't conceptualize not being here. Just not being here someday. One day, Mallory, you and I are going to be dead, buried, gone. And you start thinking about religion and how people are just blindly swallowing these concepts like God and heaven and afterlife just to suppress our deepest, most fears, which is that we don't know why we're here. Why are we here? It makes no sense. It totally makes sense, okay? Because at the same time, it allows people, the masses, to go on living their everyday lives without constantly obsessing over these things you're talking about, man. You know, these realities. Life, death, heaven, hell, existence, why we're here. You know, who knows? It's possible that a God does exist. You know, energy, force, spirit, whatever you want to call it. Right, I sure, fine, that. fair enough. So what do you think happens when you die? I don't know you die. Why does there have to be a, an answer to every question? Why can't it just be mysteries in the world? You know what? what I'm saying? I don't know, your body dies. Your actual physical being dies. But your spirit, I do believe, lives on. It lives on in the world. Man, that's this continuing thing of, of existence, dude. It doesn't have to have a perfect answer. Why? All right, fine. I buy that a little bit more than an invisible guy in the sky taking checks and balances on six million people. I think that sounds like Santa Claus to me, you know? Yeah. It's like a fairy tale for adults who can't handle death. Yeah, because if you think about it, there was a time that we didn't know that the world was round or that the atom existed or whatever, right? Because we didn't have the technology to observe it. And then boom, one day we do. Right? So, I mean, it's totally conceivably possible that in our lifetime, we will have the technology to observe God or, or, or whatever it is that created us and the planets and the universe and everything else. Right? It's important to at least have faith in the possibility of a higher being or something or whatever, because otherwise you just, I don't know, you just gotta drive yourself completely Insane. Right, but that really is the operative word, isn't it? What do you mean, what word? Faith! Because without faith, what do you got? You have nothing. You got a few stories written a hundred years ago, thousands of years ago, by people who are much more clueless than we are today. These are the same people, I might add, that were crucifying people who said the world was around. So, you know. I just need more proof. I need scientific logic to support this religion. Okay. You want proof? I will give you proof. There was a study that was done in Japan with physicists, okay? They took two vats of rice. They put one in one room, they put one in another room. They put a time-lapse camera on it so they could observe it for a month. They, they let all these people come in to one room and they would say, I love you, rice. You were the best rice. You were the most beautiful, most gorgeous, sexy rice there is. And then in the other room, they say, I I hate you, Rice. I hate you. The worst Rice. You, Rice. You're the worst Rice. After a month, the Rice that they said I love you to, still edible. The, the other Rice looks like mm. black. I saw the pictures. I saw, you know, the time lapse video. It's a study. It's real. And I saw it with my own eyes. That's your proof right there. I mean, it's energy. We're affecting something. God is energy. London, you're talking about Rice. Rice. It has nothing to do with religion. Nothing to do with God. I don't know what you want from me. I give you proof. I'm sorry, I don't find proof in that. You know what your problem is? Your problem is that you're so undyingly convinced that everything your parents taught you and everything your teachers taught you and you hold it as this indisputable almighty truth. Can we please just drop it? Please, can we just drop it? The only it, reason please? you want to drop it is because you know I'm right. Admit that, we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. Shut up! Shut the f up! But just admit it. You're scared to question authority, because what if they were wrong? What if there's no God? What if all your parents and all your elders were just as scared of death as you were and they were brainwashed just like you? You're just blind to see it. Okay, so I'm brainwashed because I happen to think that believing in something other than uh, meaninglessness and non-existence is a positive thing. Okay, that's really smart, Sid. Good, I'm glad you agree with me. I was being facetious. Why are you calling me a dipshit? Why are you calling me a Because you 
always have to be right. Why do you always have to be right? And your ego, your ego, it's just huge. It's just out of control. Why are you freaking out? There's no need to freak out. Sid, because you don't know when to stop. You keep going and going and going until people just want to smash your face in. Okay. Okay, maybe God doesn't exist. I guess me and the billions upon billions and billions of other people who actually pray to something are completely deluded and you are right. You are all knowing you're God, Sid. Isn't that what you want to hear anyway? That everyone else is wrong and you're doesn't right. Doesn't everybody? And I'm deluded. And I'm deluded. You are, you're sick. You're sick, Sid. You need mental help. Oh, God, you just make everybody crazy. You're making me crazy. You just, you blanket people with your pseudo-intellectual bullshit. And then they can't breathe. You just suffocate people. You you don't talk to people, so you talk at them. Yeah, well, at least I talk you about real shit, them. London. We've been going on for two years. What's the most intelligent conversation we've had? Whether or not Max having a sale me. on makeup or no. Oh, How many fat there are slicing vegetarian I'm pizza? so annoying. No, you are ten times more annoying to me. You know what? You get away with it because no one's listening to you. They just stare at your and they're gonna waste some I can't believe that I ever fell in love with a I'm not gonna get her back in my. I don't know. Why don't you go talk to her? Are you leaving? I'm just getting really claustrophobic, dude. I need this air. I'm not freaking you out, am I? No, no, dude. I'm so high right now. I need a drink. All right, well, here, let me, let me give you some of this. Can you, um, bring that purse over for me? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, this is Whoa, really that's way too much. No, please, <laughs> take it. Sure? Yeah. Thanks, man. That's, that's really sweet. Um, so you, you gonna come out there or what? Um, yeah, I'll be out there in a minute. I'm gonna just hang here for a minute or two. All right. I'll see you out there, okay? Hello, girls. What's your name? What a party, come on. Who are we in a book for? Fancy a smoke in the little room? We're reading actually about robopathology. Complicated little thing, aren't you? I was gonna leave, and then I had to make a beeline over to you. It's like, I don't know, do I feel like I know you or something like that? On a one to 10 scale, <laughs> you're four in dim light. One lantern, just so I wouldn't have ah. to look at your <laughs> anus, disfigured face. <laughs> you are absolutely, you're beautiful. I have to get out of here, that's my chopper. But before I do... Oh, I was picking you up? Yeah. I invented this move. <laughs> she likes me, she's laughing. How old are you? Um, 18. <laughs> 18. Let me just get another drink, hang on. Stop. I'm not hitting on you. I like your shoes. You do? Mm-hmm. Hey, girl, hey. I'm out of here. Already? I'm gonna miss oh. you. Oh. You too. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, you're Seriously. welcome. Don't get shallow on me. I promise. All right. Get out of Bye. here. Bye. Sorry. Nice I'll see you later, girl. Bye. Bye.
Call us when you get home. One ring. Just let us know you're okay. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen, right? What's the worst that can happen? <sighs> I can see London, so what? Okay. Up tonight, it's over. Hey, please tell me you're not doing cocaine in my parents' bathroom. What are you talking about? Don't what are you talking about me? I saw you go upstairs. Yeah, I went to the bathroom. Really? Yeah, I had the I pee. swear to God, you're not doing cocaine. Who the f is Bateman? Um, that's his friend or some shit. I don't know. He's hot. I think I'm gonna have hot. <laughs> you f <laughs> do <doing it again. laughs> Don't f with me, are you? Yeah, man, he's hot. I like guys with accents. Oh my god. Uh, I gotta go. You go, mate. What do you mean you met her? Mallory. She introduced us. I didn't say I knew you. I didn't want to blow your cover, as it were. Oh, my God, she is painfully gorgeous. Yeah, no shit. Oh, well, you would go out there and speak to her immediately, Sid. Can't go out there looking like this, bro. I just got to mellow out. I'm not thinking right. If I go out there and she knows I'm on blow, she won't even talk to me. I know her. How do I look? Do I look like I'm on blow? You'll be fine. What was I thinking getting this tonight? So stupid, Sid. You know, I just wanted to clear my head out, try and like think a little bit clearer. And I'm so spun, I can't even think straight. Fuck. Happens, mate. I've never been particularly social on this shit anyway. It's a lonely, lonely drug. This is crazy. I should bail. I can't do this. Should I bail? You could. I think you regret it. Why? Why do you say that? Well, personally, I'd much rather regret something I'd done than something I was too afraid to do. No shit. But you gotta realize, I haven't talked to this girl in two months. Everybody here hates me. These are all her friends. If I go out there, it is gonna get ugly.
Put <sighs> the pills on the market, you think they'd have something to take the edge off a chick leaving you. That'd be nice, but they have this theory. Maybe it'll help, I don't know. Knows where it comes from, but the broad strokes of its heart, that takes a third of the amount of time to recover from a relationship as the relationship was long. So, for example, if the relationship lasted a year, you'll be good in four months. Two years, you'll be clean in eight. It's not a third, it's a half. Mate, it's a third. Trust me. No, mate. It's a half. Maybe in England it's third. In America, it's a half. I dated this girl for two years, it's been six months, and it's getting f***ing worse. Six months? Come on. What are you complaining about? You've got two months to go. Good behavior, maybe a month. Bro, I appreciate the pep talk, but if you haven't noticed, I'm still trying to get this girl back. Look, I don't know if first love applies that theory anyway. It's been years, I still have these horribly lucid dreams about Helen. It's almost like your brain is trying to compensate for the absence. You know, I think you're still married, still in love. Life's just beautiful. All of a sudden you wake up, look over, and she's been gone for years. F***ing horrendous. Yeah, no shit. So you were married before? How long ago? Divorced three years ago. Who divorced who? It's not that simple. Well, what happened? Why'd you guys split? Long story, mate. Give me the abridged version. The abridged version? <clears throat> I don't know. The relationship just didn't work on so many levels. You know, I think we both have one foot out the door for the two years of our two and a half year marriage. You know, but it's weird. You know, when they tell you they're leaving, it's like you don't even feel the hollowness. It's like an emptiness within an emptiness and you're left with slightly less than nothing. The person you were when you met just doesn't exist anymore, you know? You're gone. So she left you? Look, Sid, it's, it's very complicated. Well, what happened? Did you cheat on her? No, 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 it's, it's irrelevant. Relevant? How is it irrelevant? I think besides money, infidelity is the most relevant reason why people split up to begin with. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Come on, man, what's going on? I thought we were talking. Let's talk, let's talk. Why did your wife leave you? Sid, it's not a pleasant scene for me, please. Oh, my scene's pleasant? Mate, I've been 21 before. I know your pain. But where you're trying to push me right now is not a place you want to go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to say that since you're older than me, your pain is somehow more? That since Unfortunately, you're... that's the case. Listen, listen. First of all, you don't have the slightest f***ing clue what pain I've been through, all right? Just since you've been on this earth a couple decades more does not mean your pain is any more or less than mine. I'm sorry, I wish it did, but it doesn't. Secondly, don't make blind comparisons when you have no f***ing clue what you're comparing, all right? You think having your heart broken is pain? You think losing God is pain? Mate, I went through that trivial shit when I was 20. I'm 40 now, mate. Where you're trying to push me right now is not a place you want to go. So why don't you do yourself a favor and don't fucking go there with me? You're a fucking child, you're just a kid. A kid? Listen, you pompous, limey f If you had one tenth my pain, you'd be psychologically crippled. Mate, seriously, f off. Look, all we're doing is projecting shit here. Look, take a step back, let's relax, shall we? Do a bit of gear, have a line, come no. on. gear, I don't want that shit, get it away from me. Good, more for me. It's Wait. Bateman, right? I used to see your memory's still intact. Well, Bateman, let me give you a little glimpse into my life, a little insight into my personal pain. Mate, it's not necessary, truly. No, it is necessary, and if you didn't think it was necessary, you wouldn't have gone there, you wouldn't have pushed my buttons, but you did. And if you don't want to hear it, you should stop snorting my shit and get the out of the bathroom. Well, technically, it's my shit, but I can see you're passionate, so go. So this f***ing guy out in L.A., who my chick is now in love with, he's, you know, endowed. She told you that? Yeah, so anyway, I needed to know how big. Not that I give a about another guy's or anything. I just wanted to know. It's one of those things you feel like you need to know. So we're in an argument, and I keep pushing her. I was pushing her, and I was like, how big is he? You know, how big is he? And she was like, let's not make an issue out of it, Sid. And I said, no, f*** that. Tell me how big he is. And she says, ten and a half inches. Jesus. Yeah, you believe that shit? She could have at least rounded it down. 
Look, the girl's trying to hurt you, mate. Yeah, no shit. But it really f***ed me, you know? It f***ed with my head knowing that this guy is in L.A. with the only woman I love f***ing her with ten and a half inches. I'm chasing her around like a little f***ing puppy dog doing everything and anything I can to get her back. And it crushed me. It st crushes me. Sorry, mate. How exactly do you deal with that? You don't deal with it. It deals with you. God, it eats at you and it eats at you, you know? We'd get in these fights and I'd say the most horrible things. I'd be like, I'd be like, you just want a fat in your fat snatch, you you know? I'd just mean, horrible things. I'd be so angry, you know? I used to say the same shit, mate. I used to say the most horrendous shit. Why? What'd she do? She didn't really do anything. You know, I imagine that a lot of it had to do with me and a lot of it had to do with my hang ups and depression and shit. But, my oh God, I used to say the worst shit to her. I tormented that girl. I lived with her for three and a half years and I hated her. So, what was the final snap? What happened? Did you cheat on her or she cheat on you? Yeah, but how do you know? Because I didn't, you know, I didn't. I know you didn't. How do you know she didn't cheat on you? I know she didn't. It wasn't her thing. How do you know? Listen, I was with the most beautiful girl in the universe. She didn't f me for two f years. Why? I don't know. Because we fought. I was in therapy. I don't, I don't, look, I don't know. If you want to know what it is, I'll tell you what it is. You remember sentences that people say to you, you know, sentences that stick in your mind like gunshot wounds that never f heal. I remember my ex-wife said to me, this is when we first started dating, she said, you know, I love it when a guy f me four, five times a night. Four, five times a night? Yeah, come on. Right. I was like, he was with some guy who f you four, five times a night? You want to know what pain is? What? I'll tell you what pain is, you why are you calling me a f Because, my friend, you f you brought me here, and I didn't particularly want to go here, but now I am. So if you don't want to go where I'm about to go, then you better tell me right now, and I'll walk out the f door, I'll phone my therapist, and that will be it, okay? End of story. No, f I don't want to hear this. You're not going anywhere. You want to know what it is? Yes, I want to know what it is. Let me go over this. You want to know what it is? Yes! Pain, my friend, is when the woman you love wants to f Four or five times a night, and you can't. Why? 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 I'll tell you why. Because I'm an impotent man. That's pain. That's pain. When your wife wants to you four times a night, and you can't. You know that some before you could, and you know that some after you will. Well, I couldn't cope with that, could I? That sense of ruination, that insolvency that burns in your soul. I could have my wife. Do you know what that means, mate? Do you understand? What impotent rage really is. I'm sorry. You have no idea, mate. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Oh, you're sorry, are you? You dare. You dare. You. You dare ask me if there's a God? Well, man, I feel forsaken. I feel cheated, you I've lost in the big game. And nothing else matters. It doesn't matter what you do. If you can't hack it in the sack, mate, if you can't hack it in the game of love and you are shit, my friend. Because you can't do what the other man can do to your wife, mate. What do you mean? It's... No, mother You do not know what I mean! You could possibly know what the f I mean! I failed! I f failed, mate! And I'm still failing every f day of my life! Every day! Every f day. You know, so 
thought you were gonna clock me there for a minute. I was gonna hit you. Projecting. You should see my group therapy sessions. They're psychotic. Yeah. I'll bet. Mate, do yourself a favor, please. For me. Go and talk to your chick. I don't think I can, man. To be honest, I'm thinking about making a beeline for the elevator. I can't go out like this. She doesn't even want me here. No, I hate to break it to you, mate. But by now, she knows you're here. And unfortunately, time's not on your side. What are you gonna do? Wait outside like a stalker? Wouldn't be the first time. Go, man, go. Oh, Come I on. I can't, I can't. Listen to me. Listen to me. You might not have a ten and a half inch but at least you can still It's a quick brain about all the bullshit. The fact is, she's here, you're here. Life's too short to be a man. Truly. Here. We can't just talk right here. Please. Sid, A, this is my going away party, and I, I think it would be pretty uncool to the people who threw it for me if I left just because you wanted to talk. And B, I, I don't know if you noticed, but we were kind of in the middle of a conversation, so I don't know what to tell you. Listen, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna grab another drink. Can I can I get you something? Actually, yeah, I'd love something. Something strong. What about you, Bruiser? What are you drinking? Is that a bottle of c blocker? So. You've been up in the bathroom starting drugs all night long. It's really productive. Really? That's funny. I heard you told people I tried to kill myself. Thank you, London. That's really f***ing great of you. I really appreciate that. Who the f*** told you that? I would never tell anybody. Yeah, you know, you it know doesn't that. matter who told me that. The fact is, I have known you since you were 10 years old. We have been through everything together. And you don't have the right. decency to call me and tell me you're moving across the country? What the f*** is that, London? All right, all right. you want to talk? All right, fine. Let's go. Get the f*** off me. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, excuse what? me. What? I'm sorry. London, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Um, we're just gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna go and talk. Yeah? Because if you want, I'll call security and have them taken out. I've got no problem with that. Becca, can you do me a favor? Can you stay out of this, please? You've been doing cocaine in my parents' bathroom all night. So don't f***ing tell me what I can and cannot do in my own f***ing house, considering you weren't even invited. It's cool. Becca, we're just gonna go. No, we're gonna leave. It's, it's gonna be cool. fine. It's not cool, London. Baby, he wasn't invited. You didn't want him here, I didn't want him here. No one wants him Look, here. Look, Becca, can you just relax, please? Tell me to relax. Why? Why can't you relax for two f***ing seconds? We're leaving, Just right? shouting for starters in my f***ing party. And also, you're a psychotic. You couldn't take a f***ing hint if it smashed you in the face. She doesn't want to be with you. She doesn't want to spend even 20 seconds We're leaving, let's with go. You. So, Becca, I'm sorry. You, you, you know what? And I'm sorry, London. And I'm not trying to be a f here. But when you come back here, you come back alone. I don't want you in my house again, all right? Or I will call the f off. Oh, I'm really trying to be calm here, all right? Oh, I'm so tired of you and your psycho f shit. You want to talk about psycho shit? Let's talk Stop. about your f up life. Because we can talk about that right now. No, this. You want to f with me? You want to f with me? Why don't you f off, all right? You weren't even invited to this party. You want to f with me, Becca? You want to f with me? What was it, 15, 20? I think I lost count. Was it the whole 
pledge uh, class? Sorry. Isn't that funny, Jay? That's you never really know your girlfriend. Isn't that a total mind f You're a f I'm so sorry. Where? Which is insane. You Bugger. are insane. I am so sorry. If you want to go back upstairs, I completely understand. You don't want to talk? Yeah, I want to talk. I mean... Where? Where do you, where do you want to go? Dude, my car's like two blocks away if you want to get like a coffee or... Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. You're probably not gonna believe this at all, but I was kind of glad when I heard you were at the party. Ever since you and I broke up, all I really wanted to do was just have a normal conversation, you know, just a normal conversation with you. And I just feel like every time I see you, it just gets so like, like weird and chaotic and scrambled and I can't organize my thoughts and I can't even express the most basic things I want to say to you. I know, me too. Whatever we had when we were together, when we were in love, that feeling of just being able to lie in bed with someone for days and days and not give a f about the outside world, it's gone. I feel like there's nothing I can do to ever get it back. Do you know how painful that is? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I cried for weeks when we broke up. You cried for weeks? It was the hardest thing I've ever dealt with in my life. How long did you go through that? A long time. A long time. The first month, it, it was so bad, and then, you know, slowly it gets better. That's the difference between you and me, London. I'm still going through it. I tried to call you a dozen times today. Terrified. I'm, af I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Of what? What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of falling in love with you again. Sorry, sir. Where are you? Yeah, um, great party, mate. <laughs> It's insane. <laughs> but good chat, seriously. Definitely. You know, they say the greatest conversation you'll ever have is with a stranger. Who says that? Uh, some useless. <laughs> you guys need a ride or something? We'll go uptown if you want. Know. Yeah, Mallory, uh. I don't know, we're gonna get you a late drink, <laughs> cup of tea, something or other. Raise the flag, perhaps. Good luck. Thank you. That's it, thank you. 
London. Lovely name, darling. Uh, nice to meet you. You have a safe flight. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Come by the bar, all right? Will. London, call me. Have a all safe right. flight. I'm gonna catch you a little drink. All right. Can I ask you something? Really, really long time before you know I fall in love with anybody the way that I was in love with you. Okay, miss, I have your flight information desk. Sorry. Uh, I think I'm gonna use the plane. Can you, can you check for me, make sure I'm gonna be all right? London? I love you.